social media? Is Agape Force the place to go to on social media? Because your teenagers are on social media. Your teenagers are on this platform. How are you teaching them? Are you waiting for them to come to meetings? To come and hear what you want to talk about? Or are you taking it to where they are? Jesus didn't say everybody come to the synagogue and in the synagogue we'll talk about the Bible. He didn't, did, how many times did Jesus call people to the synagogue? Can anyone think about when Jesus called everyone to the synagogue? Jesus went to meet them, didn't he? Jesus went to where the people were. So if Jesus went to where the people were, what are we supposed to do as ministers of the gospel? Go to where they are. Now, a lot of people have had a resistance against social media because they say things like, oh, there's pornography on social media. Oh, people use profanity. People curse people on social media. People gossip people on social media. How many of you have heard all of those things? And all those things are true. So what responsibility do we have as Christians? We have the responsibility to create a new content on the same platform. If people are using social media for pornography, for gossip, for all kinds of negative vices, what are you doing that's going to have a stronger influence than the influence that they're having? Or are you just going to let them have what 78% of all people online have? You just want to give it over to the world, or do we want to reclaim it? Agape Force, our teenagers, every single one of your teenagers are on these platforms. If 100% of us as adults are on the platform, then that means that likely 100% of our teenagers are also on the platform. Are we using Instagram, Twitter, all these different things to make a difference, or are we just letting it go and we're just calling them to come together for meetings? What are we doing? Are we taking advantage of the platform and the environment where our people are? So I want everyone to quickly get out your phone. Everyone get out your smartphone right now. Get out your smartphone. Now, are you on, everyone, is everyone on Instagram? Everyone, you've got to be on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, you're not where the teenagers are. Instagram is where the young people are right now. That's where the, the things are happening. The young people don't go to Facebook. Your generation and the generation above you goes to Facebook. Your young people are not going to Facebook. They're going to Instagram. Then the people who are educated, the people that are college educated, they're the ones that are usually going to Twitter. Yeah. So you can look at the kind of peop where people are posting, where people are talking. The teenagers are on Instagram, they're on Snapchat. If you're not on Snapchat, if you're not on Instagram, I'm surprised nobody in this room mentioned Snapchat. That's where all your teenagers are. All your teenagers are taking pictures of themselves on Snapchat with different filters, putting little halos over their heads and all this kinds of stuff. That's where they are, they're on Snapchat. If you're not on Snapchat and you're saying you're reaching teenagers, I wonder what platform you're reaching teenagers on. Because they're in Snapchat. So where are you? If your teenagers are there, where are you? So this is just kind of to stir on the inside of us a, a, a realization that we need to go to where our people are. And we need to create content that brings change. Now I'm not saying you go to social media and you start preaching and preaching and preaching. No, you know, you can and it will be effective. But one of the things that's interesting, have ever gotten out their cell phones by now? Keep it out for a second. One of the interesting things, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this, but one of the interesting things about social media is that you have to be social. Everyone say, I have to be social. I have to be social. You can't put yourself out there on social media and you don't like people or you're not interested in people. In fact, you can't be a leader in agape force if you don't like people, if you're not interested in people. You have to care about them. You have to care about answering them. You have to care about the conversations they're having and you have to get into those conversations and get into where they are. So social media is social. Everyone say it again, say social media is social. Social media is social. Okay, so if you're an anti-social person, <clears throat> You'll find it very difficult to be on social media effectively. But by God's grace, I don't know any leaders or people who are in positions of leadership that still hold on to that anti-social notion. Okay, so we're going to do a contest real quick. Everyone get out their phones. Open your camera. Snap a selfie of yourself, okay? Grab out your phone. Open your camera. Everybody's going to do a selfie. Get your phones. Okay, you got a selfie? Ready? One, two, and...
All right. Snap a selfie. All right. We all have a selfie of ourselves. We all we all took a picture of ourselves, right? This is mine. All right. Now I'm only going to be up here for the next 15 minutes, so we're going to quickly upload it to our social media pages. Everyone choose one.